blur have entered the building. Uh, we have Damon, we have Graham, we have Dave and we have Alex. Congratulations. How was that for you? <laughs> well, considering it was like 31 Wembleys listening, it felt <laughs> remarkably intimate. Uh, and being visualised on the BBC, on the iPlayer, on the red button and everything, were you feeling the pressure? It's been on the radio. It's that like, red really? button's always I'm a really, pressure. I'm not into this kind of sort of sort of morphification into it being like 90 Wembleys or something. Yeah. Not really, it's just the radio. Just being on the live no, the last on the radio. time I was in this studio was I was doing Loose Ends. And yeah, I thought you'd say yeah. that. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful room. It's very orange. It's very Radio 2 this evening. Um, Graham, how was that for you? Great, great fun. I love that sort of size um, venue and I like a carpeted stage, <laughs> smiling faces and um, it's just sort of informal but slightly pressure because it was, you know, going out live sort of thing. Yeah. But that's great. I, I really like that venue. Good. And Dave? Yeah, it was fun. It's a nice place. Nice to play these tiny venues. Nice to be able to see the entire audience. Nice to get everyone tiny jumping up and down. It kind changed. of reminds me of my uh, teenage, reminds me of my youth, <laughs> <laughs> playing these little kind of toilet <laughs> venues. Being so close to the audience, though, is that, uh, uh, your, your sage, is that intimidating, being able to see Not people's at all. faces? It's no. exactly the same. It's entirely the same as playing any other... It was the liveliest audience I've ever seen uh, for a BBC in concert, I have to say. <laughs> was it? Was it? Yes, yes, it was. That's good. What were you much. feeding them on the way in? They were, they were crazy. Your music, Dave, that's what we were feeding them. They were craving it. You see, my dad, he worked for the BBC his entire life. He died last year, but oh. he he's started his career in that in that room. He was a technician there. At the BBC Radio Theatre? Yeah, yeah, yeah oh my absolutely. Gosh. In, the, in the day, in like the 50s, I guess... 40, late 40s, early 50s, if you wanted a piece of equipment, you had to build it from scratch, and so that's yeah. what he did. If you wanted a mixing desk, you had to get a soldering iron yeah. and some valves wow. and build a mixing desk, and that oh. was his job. So special meaning for you then, being yeah, there yeah. tonight. Yeah, it was like coming home. Wow. Right, let's play some music and we'll talk more to Blur after this. Band who supported you at Wembley, this is Selector on my radio. Selector and on my radio and Selector played with Blur Hill with me right now at the Wembley dates. Can you put into words what the Wembley shows were like for me? Who, uh, who would like to in go, words, Damon? How many words? As many as you like. <laughs> Lots of words. Well, I felt like from the moment we got on stage on Saturday to the moment we left stage on Sunday, it had shrunk so much. Like the last few go gig, a uh, few songs uh, on Sunday, just it felt like I don't know. I felt like not like a pub, but it felt I don't know. There was such an amazing connection that night. It was uh, I. I would be. I, I can't really imagine ever repeating that. Mm. I mean, maybe, but I mean, I can't imagine it. You know what I mean? So it went from being like massive and very daunting to just an intimate love affair with your audience. Pretty much, yeah. There's a lot of kids there as well. A lot of, lot of young people just going absolutely bonkers. Which is what you want to see. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just <laughs> looked so great like, after it got dark. Just looking out at it, how beautiful it looked with the mirror pores and everything. When Apparently, everything we looked like ants to everybody, though. <laughs> But oh, you thank you... goodness we didn't know we looked like ants. Because <laughs> I, I promise you, from my from my perspective, I felt like quite large. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, of course. So I mean, it's good that it's it's necessary that illusion that you think you're big. <laughs> it's good we had those, you're those, a tight um, in your you, head. Like, you had those yeah. great big screens as well, so you could. Yeah. Check. You, know, you always see that your label's hanging out or something when you look. <laughs> and it was it was an emotional uh, evening for you, wasn't it? D Damon, you were very moved. Uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of... Well, there was this guy from, I think, probably from... Cause, because he was around a load of people from Argentina, so he's probably Argentinian. I don't know what song it was, but he just... Sorry. He just lost it. <laughs> he lost it, and he just... He, and I was trying to, like, communicate to him, going, it's all right, mate. You know, I wanted to go down there and, like, give him a hug. But the, at that time, I, I had to sort of stay on the stage and sing. <laughs> and then, I don't know what happened. He just sort of, his his feeling kind of sort of moved into me. And then I was just, I, I had to like turn my back because I just had to just deal with it, you know. I went it's at not, that point as well. Did you, when you Alex? went, yeah. You were there at Glastonbury 2009, right, when that was, because that was quite emotional. Mm -hmm. I never thought we'd top that, but I think this, this oh, weekend... We, we was, definitely top that. Yeah. 
definitely. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing. But <laughs> sort of, it sort of it limits your options moving forward, really. <laughs> and, no. and, it's probably the end. Probably. <laughs> yeah, it's all over. So, You've done it now. Yeah, I'd like I to do some maybe. really bad shows. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really big and bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> why, why was it so intense and emotional? It, on, it was, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> why was it I know so... we could do it. But... Yeah, we could try. Well, you could, could we... do some really bad shows. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We've got it in <laughs> our history. <laughs> Let's hope not. Um, why was it so moving? Was it the fact that it was the four of you together again on stage um, after all these years? Well, or was this it... is a narrative, you... obviously, everyone would like to Well, to, that, I'm intrigued to know to from go you. With. I think, well, obviously, I don't know. It's weird. Like, Graham and I, I've known Graham since he was 12. You know, and our first musical kind of sort of endeavours were in a little porter cabin outside our, our music uh, uh, building and our, at our comprehensive school in the 1980s in Essex. And, uh, you know, it was part like wanting to play and part like uh, just sort of avoiding the inevitable f- violence outside. <laughs> Especially for yeah. great. Graham wasn't like me. He was more. You see, I've got in my head now. Oh, now, no. now, now I've watched. Now I've watched. Now I've watched the Wham documentary. I was I'm, just going to I am, that. I, I, because the weird thing is, all that footage they've got of when they were like teenagers. Well, that was. I mean, obviously not the same. Obviously, we lived in the countryside. They lived in 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 North London. Very very different. But sorry, am I a bit far? Yeah, just away? talking to the mic a bit better. But, no, honestly, there's something about... I, I, I don't care. Uh, I don't care. I think there's something in the, the, their relationship that's the same in ours, but, you know... Between George and Andrew. Totally, obviously, there are other things which are completely different, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, Graham was by far the best musician and still is, you know. And you uh, wanted to work with him again, which is how this record... Was that part of the motivation for the new album? Um, no, I mean... It all started, honestly, with um, a sort of, like, it's like, when are we going to do something? And and I don't know, I just woke up one day and I was like, I really think these songs need to be sung again. I was quite sort of evangelical about it. And then and then it, it, it was kind of sort of uh, suggested that, oh, well, why don't we try and play Wembley, you know? And I was like, yeah, yeah, those songs at Wembley. So there was no there was no new album, there was no Ballad of Darren, nothing like that then. And we agreed to do it, and then that happened, sold out, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, I was in America, and I, I just... I always, like, do write music and demo when I'm, when I'm on tour. And uh, I just started writing songs, and then it was like, oh, this is really kind of sort of started getting quite animated about the fact that I could hear these songs with with Blur. And then in January, we kind of presented it to everyone and they were like, yeah, we're up for doing that. And so, and I'm really glad we did it that way because, you know, we didn't even really think about uh, playing the gigs until we'd finished the record, which was in April. And by that point, we'd become such a unit again and, and kind of almost kind of regressed to our, our 1992-93 yeah. thing, which was probably the best we ever were because after that, it all got kind of sort of sullied by fame and mm. notoriety and a lot of other things. That must have been quite a lot to meddle, yeah, to, just to, yeah, to deal with at that time as well, young, young I mean, men. It's just what you have to deal with, yeah. isn't it? It's like, and you, either, you either come out of it stronger or you don't, you know, and it turns out that we came out of it a lot stronger and, and made one of the best records we've ever made. But mm. There you mm. go. And you got to premiere some of the tracks tonight at, yes. on the BBC doing this in concert. Um, and that's important to you? Damon, you were just saying how... It, People playing those songs for the very first time. Yeah, like you do it's Russian more important. Every time you go on stage, you want to be able to play something that totally relies on you in that moment presenting it to the audience. Nothing that's familiar, or whatever. I mean, that's you know, that's that's the dream, isn't it? You know. Mm. Did you all watch the Wham documentary? Have you? Has everyone seen it? Because it's it's. I'm just trying to work out. Of me and Dave, which one's Pepsi and which one's (laughs) (laughs) Who do you want to be? (laughs) (laughs) 
it's very I'm halfway moving. through. It's very I'm just moving, getting to it? a nice bit halfway through. Yeah, I could, might have the rest later. Okay. Did, could you relate to what Damon was just saying though um, about your friendship and seeing that? Yeah, George because you connect, we connected over music. Um, there was we were kind of uniquely weird in a strain, in, in a way at school. That you know, um, and we encountered each other a couple of times. You know, I played the saxophone rather rudimentarily. Uh, Damon oh, needed a saxophone. Rudimentarily as well. <laughs> he needed a sax on a song he'd written. So that was it, and we got together. Someone had a four track. It's very similar. It's probably the same four track that they recorded their yeah, demos. Yeah, no, it was. On. That was just the thing that really triggered me, because they had yeah. the same four track that I had. You know, it was. You know, so it's a lot of. Um, Similarities, definitely. And they're yeah. not actually that much older than us. They're like about mm. five years older than us. Mm. You know? Mm. So. I know. But thank God you're here and you're in the band and you're, you know, you've got a new record coming out. Yeah. Fact, we had Andrew on the show last <clears throat> week and it was it was incredibly emotional. The grace that he had and the whole thing about friendship was just man, so yeah. humbling. Yeah, so, so lovely. Um, we're going to take a break, going to play a track and then we'll come back. I for met the... George Michael once oh, at, uh, at Donatella Versace's house. <laughs> and how was that? <laughs> well, I'm not going to uh, elaborate on it, but, it, you know, <laughs> it, was you a real, it was a real privilege to meet him. <laughs> you, I mean, you have a lot of respect for him, I presume. Oh, yeah, 100%. He was really lovely. They were both love very him. lovely. Right, OK, we're going to play a track and then final chat with Blur after this. This is Self Esteem, another band who supported you on stage. You forever. Call it off. Turn it on. Self Esteem and You Forever pop off. It's Radio 2. We've got Blur here with us. We've just enjoyed a brilliant in concert. Honestly, it just felt... Um, so dynamic and like I said the audience was so lively and they were having a really really great time uh, Alex we haven't heard from you very much um, yeah well, How much? I, we were just enjoying play. you know we were enjoying playing it's nice nice to you, be back can I just say you got into Britpop trousers I'd love to video about, of you yeah. just squeezing yourself in <laughs> um, well I had some work to do I think yeah. there was like a 25 hour kind of sort of moment where that was possible <laughs> <laughs> Straight down to Scots for the full freedom here now. <laughs> How much did you lose in this, this journey that you've done? Oh, wow. I've had to cut right down on my cheese life, basically. <laughs> a lot. I mean, my thing for him is like, just don't go back there. You know what I mean? Is that going to happen? Go well, it was just co you know, it was COVID, and then you know, I spend spend my life yeah, surrounded by Come on, you can't blame it just on COVID. Well, <laughs> you can't really just blame it. On. We all Shut had COVID, up. you know. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. We all did that. Just don't do it again. <laughs> just please, just don't do it again. Um, because pe- it's people, like... people are wondering about about the future because the record's coming out now. Some they want to know whether there's going to be a tour, another tour after no. this. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> if you just like to think, never about, again. If you just like to think about it a little bit more, could you be tempted to do? We are mid-tour. I mean, we're on tour, really, till the end of the year. We're on tour until the autumn. But not entirely in the UK, <sighs> are you? You know Done what Wembley. I mean? It's like plans, man. That's... You're always making plans, aren't you? Well, I mean, for Nigel, right. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, always. I guess the question is, would you, would you like to? Well, is there a possibility there might be some dates in the UK? No! <laughs> <laughs> Curmudgeonly is the word that springs to mind. Curmudgeonly. <laughs> We're, we're in Italy at the weekend. Wow, yeah, you are, you are super, super busy. Favourite highlights from the new record, The Ballad of Darren, that's coming out. Dave, which songs do you particularly love? And, and thank you, by I the way, because like your leg question. is damaged. I do not like that question. That Sorry. is a, a generic radio <laughs> question. It's like, why do you do that to us? Because we're we're presenting you, you like. a body of work. Why do you ask us to choose? Because I want to know what your favourite songs why? are. There's nothing Just wrong with we, we that. Like I like it. You like, like why, we, why we're presenting You want a short answer? <laughs> yeah, go on, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I really like Bar- Barbaric, um, which I think is going to be probably the next I think it is, single. the next single. OK, hope, I think I might be able to play a song <laughs> <laughs> on my show. Now. It's, my, it's one of my favourite songs from the record. Obviously, I love the whole thing, Damon. But you know, why are you looking at me? Because you just shouted at me. <laughs> I didn't. Yes, you did. I did not shout at you. I all I was saying is that <laughs> I don't feel like it's necessary to ask us what's our favourite bit of something we've given our heart and soul to. We're giving you the whole thing. My favourite bit of it is playing it live. To is be it honest. really? And you've yeah, been, you it's... were damaged tonight. You were playing with a, a damaged leg. I know. I'm wounded. I'm like a <laughs> walking. Wind. I'm like a kind of sparrow, <laughs> hopping along on one leg, holding the other one up, kind of bleeding. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Well. Um, 
I had the most amazing experience on Sunday. I went uh, to get a coffee and, and I was reading a paper with my croissant and my coffee <laughs> and this starling came with its, uh, uh, its child and <laughs> onto my, onto my uh, table and started taking bits of my croissant from my, from my plate and feeding... Its baby. Yeah. And it was the most amazing thing. It was like ten minutes of this. It's like, why is this? Why is this bird so close with its kid? It was amazing, Don't beautiful, know. and it was like Lovely it was like experience. the best country file. <laughs> starlings have taken it. Maybe starlings around ever. at the moment. They've been, yeah, they've been bullying all the other birds in my <laughs> garden at the moment. You're a bit of a bird man at the moment. Birdman. Yeah, I've always been a birdman. Yeah. When I was a kid. When I was a kid. <laughs> I. I. Uh, I invented a new way of getting close to, to to birds. Okay. When it when it was snowing, if you put a grey uh, a, a white uh, like muslin like um, blanket blanket, blanket yeah. over you over yourself, and you went and stood next to the bird table, <laughs> they come onto the bird table, <laughs> and you could literally stand right next to it and watch them. Wow. I so, so you can note, so, we're so, end so, this interview and we're going to play <laughs> brilliant. I'm not, I'm not odd. Too much. I'm not <laughs> odd. I'm not <laughs> odd. <laughs> when you I'm say not odd, odd when you're a child. Wiley can't <laughs> take it. She can't <laughs> take those stories. I love stories of the birds. interview. <laughs> right. Thank you so much. Um, if you can sum up tonight, how would you sum up this evening? How much of you, Alex? I'm going to go to you for this. Absolutely blooming marvellous. Thank you very much for having us. It's always a pleasure. That really was. I'm so pleased. Thank you very much indeed for doing it for us. He's had media training. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. And we're going to end tonight with this. This is Blur and this is The Universal. Thank you.